If you have a sweet tooth, you might want to check out a tasty exhibit in downtown Los Angeles. It is focused on one of the most popular and delicious foods in the entire world, chocolate. The exhibit is called The Legacy of Cacao. It is now open at La Plaza Cocina. Joining us live this morning to tell us about this global favorite is Jimena Martin from La Plaza de Cultura y Artes, which includes La Cocina. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, thank you. Well, first off, why don't you tell us about the exhibit? We can see you're there. What can people learn there? There's so much to see here. First of all, the exhibition starts with these Mesoamerican pieces that actually celebrate the gods of chalk. We have a goddess here that actually has cacao beans as part of her hair. So this is the introduction about the mythology, the stories of the origins of chocolate. And one of the big components here in our exhibition is process. How is chocolate made? Um, the show was co curated with my dear Gomez Rejon, a food historian, chef herself, and myself to tell the story of process. And also, a big important component of La Plaza Cocina is um, like farm to table, where things begin. Um, here we have a collection of the varieties of chocolate in Oaxaca. And again, we talk about um, roasting, how the, they're roasted and then they're peeled and then they're eventually ground into this beautiful paste. But it, the interesting component is, is that the agriculture part, farming is done by men, but the actual process and making these beautiful um, varieties of chocolate um, are done all by women. So here is a great selection of photographs um, from a photographer, Chava Cueva, who has this beautiful book called Bebidas de Oaxaca. And during the pandemic, I found this book and it just, you know, beautiful, images of the varieties of chocolate. Um, like uh, here we have tejate, we have different chocolates here with um, achiote, um, uh, uh, chocolate de agua. And um, another way to experience the exhibition by science, reading and visually seeing it, but also is interactive right here where we can actually invite folks to come in and actually we have actual um, cacao beans and uh, they get behind and they can start grinding. And to really think about it, that it's not that easy to think about. You have to um, grind it to a fine uh, powder to become um, a hot, hot chocolate. And it's not easy. So when you guys come visit us at La Plaza Cocina, I invite you to come here and give it a try. It's a lot of good work, but the end results are delicious. Follow me. Here's another beautiful example of the photography, just to get an idea just how visually beautiful process can be for chocolate. Um, besides um, the process of chocolate, we also have the voyage of chocolate, where um, as an indigenous ancient ingredient to the Americas, food of the gods, we have this beautiful timeline where it starts off with the origins, and then it's a conversation of how chocolate travels. It traveled around the world, got introduced to chocolate, sugar, um, different things, vanillas, uh, but then at the end of the story with the voyage, we come back to the celebration of Mexican chocolate. And speaking of celebration of Mexican chocolate, we have, uh, at the studio, I understand, you guys have a flawless chocolate cake. This cake, it's a Mexican chocolate cake because what we've done is we've added um, some cinnamon, some cayenne, and coffee. Um, that really kind of accentuates uh, the flavors of, um, of chocolate. So what we do is we have, it's super easy. This recipe is 12 ounces of chocolate, uh, six eggs, 12 uh, tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of vanilla, um, a splash of cinnamon, a splash of cayenne, a splash of coffee. We'll put that all together. So in your blender, it's the eggs and the spices. And then apart here, you um, melt your, um, oh, and a second half of butter. You melt your chocolate with the butter and the coffee, right? And then once you're done doing so, you pour your eggs, you beat them, they will, um, they will grow volume. And this is what's going to make the, the cake fluff like a souffle. So we're going to pour it in. And we talk about tempering because what happens is, is that um, 
you have to pour in slowly. I did kind of quick today because we're, I know we're on time, but you slowly pour in the chocolate because, of the, excuse me, pour in the eggs because with the hot chocolate and the cool eggs, you're gonna end up with scrambled eggs. Just pour in a little bit of time and you temper, temper in um, the eggs into the chocolate. I do want to let you know that as you were describing the cake, I was able to take a, take, a taste of it, and it's Yay. very, very good. Um, I have Yay, the whole cake with me. I'm all by myself up here, but this is really delicious. And, and as you're showing us this, this really kind of proves the point that at La Cocina, you offer cooking classes to show people how they can do what you're doing. Absolutely. We have three to four classes a month. Uh, we're highlighting chocolate, but we do other things as well. We're kicking off our first chocolate-inspired class um, next Saturday, um, the 21st, and we're making polvorones de chocolate, so they're chocolate-inspired um, chocolate, um, cookies. It's a multi-generational class, and that's the other thing about La Cocina. We do bilingual, multi-generational classes. Um, we're also going to be doing a, uh, a mole class. We're going to be doing a um, chocolate uh, for just in time for Valentine's Day, um, chocolate truffles mm. um, to give away um, that and so many other things. And also beginning with the holidays, a uh, new way of thinking about their diets. We also, again, it's about celebrating and getting ingredients, telling those stories. Uh, we're going to have a um, plant-based um, starter class. It's a two-part class. So you have a conversation uh, with Dr. Serrat, uh, Claudia Serrato, talk about the importance of indigenous ingredients and whole foods, and then actually having a cooking class the following Saturday. Uh, we're gonna have tacos and wine coming up, um, champagne tasting, um, a million other things that we do here. Again, all in celebration of Mexican gastronomy. Um, please look us up on laplazacocina.org. Um, family uh, communal, uh, community prices. The exhibition here is absolutely free. Um, the, we welcome you to come into the exhibition. We have a beautiful La Tiendita that has um, beautiful books, um, molinillos, um, Mexican hot chocolate, Mexican chocolate bars, um, everything to do with items that you would love to have in your kitchen with a taste of Mexico. And all so, of it coming um, just from a bean, which is uh, incredible to think how much that we can do. I was going to say that you had me at moles, then you go on to tacos and champagne. Um, the list goes on of what you can provide. Uh, before we do go, because we do have to wrap up, um, how long yes. does the exhibit last? The exhibition will be up till um, April 30th, and we're open Wednesdays through Sundays from 12 to 5. Um, for those who are not in Los Angeles, we do have a virtual version of this exhibition. Um, all our classes are up are online, and uh, we welcome you to come and taste a little bit of Mexico um, through the store, exhibit through interactions, taking a class, and uh, checking out our store. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. Oh, geez, absolutely. Well, the only thing that can make this better is to zap me there to do some of those cooking lessons with you. So, Jimena Martin, uh, we appreciate it. Uh, what an experience there. Thanks again for joining us. Thank you for the opportunity.